Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 as we try and finish off our journey into the Ukraine starting from Cambridge in the UK. We are just on the border in Poland and it has been difficult to try and find a job that will take us <laughs> through into the Ukraine. I have had to rest four times. I've had to go off and do two little uh, quick jobs. Uh, to try and uh, progress time, to try and get a job come up, because everything was taking us back uh, to the to turn west right. or just to go north. Turn right. So uh, the money has gone up a little bit. I didn't record them because I don't want them as part of this series. But that's why when the uh, little screen come up, we're now over 300 grand, I think. But I have found a job. It just takes us over the border. And. Uh, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of the town or the city that we're going to be hitting. But once we go and pick this job up, we will know. Uh, I'm trying to be as quick as I can because we've only got about two hours, I think, to pick up, and I wasn't quite sure how far it was to the pickup point. I did have I think, issues last time around where I had to go and drive to a point to find a job, and then by the time I got there, the contract had disappeared, and then had to go and do another one and keep moving about. Uh, but I could only left. sleep twice before it would tell me I didn't need to rest anymore. So when there weren't a job there, I had to go out and do a job. But I didn't use my truck. Turn just right. as quick jobs. Finally, we are here. And we're picking up from where we dropped off. <laughs> what are the odds? Right. Gonna go shake through this car park. Means we've also got to come out of this car park with a trailer. Excellent. Now this whole series of uh, jobs has been in an attempt to do a bit of a charity run. Um, there is a link in the description. There's a dis link in the description on all the videos for the International Red Cross. If you feel that you can donate something it goes to a great cause to help those that are in need at the moment so this is our job it's just in on the border and it is going to Erzherod I'm gonna go with Erzherod so we're gonna go down into uh, Slovakia and then out into Erzherod into the uh, Ukraine and we're just taking empty pallets Time to get the job done. Excuse me. So let's go find our trailer. Throughout this trip, we've been using the uh, Ukraine national flag uh, skin for our truck. This is an SCS skin. Um, it was created with 100% of the cost going towards... Uh, Ukrainian Help Fund, this is uh, a charity that's doing great work out there to help those that are affected. Let's hook this up. Okay. Here we, go. we just have a little look. Let's give it a beep. We've been sporting this one. There is a selection of them in there. This is the one that I preferred. Yeah. Um, once we finish this series, we still may rock the, uh, the wrap for a few journeys and bring it back every now and then or even try out one of the other ones it costs 79p that's all and 100% of that is going to charity to help those affected with the, uh, the conflict out in Ukraine helping uh, families and people that are stuck out there and that are trying to leave Likewise, the uh, International Red Cross are out there doing the same. So that's why I put that as a uh, the charity that I wanted to try and help support with this series. This skin alone has uh, CS, uh, SCS, <laughs> CS, SCS software have already raised over 75,000 euros. From the sale of it. Like I say, it costs less than a euro. Want to get the curb? Oh. 
Oh, got it anyway. Not getting out of there, am I? I am proper cool. Now we'll have to try and loop around the car park. Get out. Have to remember that for future. I thought that when we came in last time with the trailer, I thought, oh, it's going to be a bit of a tight one to get out of. See if we can get out before he gets here. This fella. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Again, we're going to try and do this without. <laughs> any further <laughs> crashes. We didn't crash, we just got caught on the kerb. We didn't take no damage, I don't think. And we're going to try and do it without incurring any speed and fines. Uh, I think we've had one or two. I think we did have one crash as well. I've had speed and fines off camera a few days ago. That was when I wasn't under load and I was just trying to find somewhere to rest. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll try not to do that too much. Check how far this journey was. Oh, it's only 168 miles. So it shouldn't take us too long. Depends on these lights. They always change just as you under brake into a point that you're not going to continue on with your uh, inertia. You want to be able to just drift up to lights and it changes your in sort of changing gear. Turn left. It's been a it's been a good run. Uh, I think we came through uh, France, Belgium, Germany, Hungary. Uh, I think we then went into Poland. I think we spent a little bit of time in the Czech Republic before going up into Poland. Um, or did we go into the Poland, Czech Republic, then back up into Poland? So we're now going to go to uh, let's say Slovenia. seen a lot of a lot of year of this run it's been good it's been really nice to do these because obviously I want these to come out near each other um, so uh, been, been doing a lot more euro truck than I normally would do in a short period of time as we go speed and tick already and then I didn't do the lights <laughs> never mind um, yeah, so it's been nice. It's been fun to do the trucking. But like, as it is often the case, um, when I concentrate on one series, something else takes a bit of a hit. But I wanted to do this. It's not a lot, but it's a little something. And if uh, it helps bring awareness, it helps keep things sort of in focus. And if anyone wishes to uh, donate and help, they can. The link is provided. I don't know who clicks it, I don't know who donates, or so if no one donates or anything, but it's there. And these videos will always be there, so they'll always be there for anyone that wants to, just for a good cause. Um, it takes you to their the National Red Cross um, front page, home page, so there's lots of information about other things that they're doing as well. find somewhere nice so we can get a good picture. Let's grab a nice screenshot. Not always so good under darkness, so if we maybe get a stop at a light, next next set of lights, if we can get a stop at and we've got a good light on us, uh, maybe we can get a nice screenshot from there. <coughs> Again, excuse me. Just cannot clear it.
I haven't been and looked for a mod to remove the uh, the barriers yet, or the visibility of the barriers at least. I will look into that, so I would like to get them gone. I've been watching uh, a bit driver guy, and he's I think he quite recently, not recently, I think it was probably about a month ago, but he's uh, he took the barriers off, and it does look nicer, more immersive. So I'd like to, I'd like to get them off. It does if it looks better. I don't want to do it just because someone else has done it. I want to do it because you know it looks nice. I'm going to try and remember to use the uh, cruise control for this journey. Helps <laughs> helps to prevent me from speeding a little bit. Sometimes, not always. I do have the habit of just sitting with my foot on the accelerator, thinking that's all right because we'll max out at 56. So uh, that's got me thinking that maybe I should remove the um, limiter so that I have to actually pay more attention as well, rather than just sitting maxing out at 56. Train off in the distance. Unfortunately, we can't see it at night. Slowing down, mate. That was a bit harsh. I was under braking. Exit now. Now you can turn all that off as well. You can turn off um, sort of traffic infringements. No speed and fines. You don't get fined for traffic light infringements. You don't get fined for accidents and stuff like that. But then that's that's not a simulator, then, is it? If you wanted to just hoss about as quick as you can, <laughs> trying to earn as much money as you can, I guess that's an option for if I say you want to have fun and play the game. You're not completely limited. You can turn off the sleep. You don't have to have that. You don't have to have the fatigue. I have noticed in playing American Truck Simulator that you can go a lot longer without having to rest on that one. We have to rest every sort of 11, 12 hours. I'm sure on that you go at like 14, 15 hours. Because I play that one with the uh, limiter off. But you also seem to be allowed to uh, tow at much higher speeds, you know topped out at um, 56. So here we are, crossing the border into another new country. soft border, look at that. Welcome to Slovakia. Not Slovenia, Slovakia. I do apologise. Giving us the rules of the road over there. It's gone a bit quick, didn't get to see it. But we will do our best to adhere to it. <laughs> we will fail, but we will do our best to adhere to it. A nice cruising speed at the minute. We just don't like doing less than 40, and I think the limit's 43. Yeah, so we're uh, being pretty good. That's sort of how we should be. We shouldn't be uh, flat footing every time. Although I'm not sure if my cautious driving is uh, creating that tailback behind us. It's 
slowly creeping up. Be careful on these corners. <laughs> you don't want to roll it on the last leg. That would be awful. <laughs> bit quick. You just know that one of them cars behind us is going to be a police car. Itching to drop a fine on us. Here we go, now we've got a 56. Now all things going well, this series should run I think for about a week. And then uh, I'll put them out each, obviously each stage, <coughs> its own day. And then I'll I'll probably do like I did before, and I'll do like a super cut of uh, the whole trip, and I'll put that out at the weekend. So I'm trying to think in my head now. Maybe this should Ready run probably till about Thursday or Friday, so I might space it out so it does get to Friday, and then um, hopefully. Sunday will then be the supercut. If people want to watch the supercut, or for later on, or for whatever reason, it's there. In the whole journey in its entirety. Obviously it would have been great if I could have uh, done all this as a stream, as like a charity stream. Oh mate, move over, thank you. I didn't think it was going to let me out. Um, but we just don't have the internet. So it wasn't even worth giving the trouble to. Just have the broadband here, it's just not got the bandwidth. Not to do a really a quality stream. I have been testing on my Twitch um, via the console. Done a couple of little test streams on there. And that's not too bad, depending on the time of day. Um, because I wouldn't mind doing some Twitch streams off the console to uh, work my way through this, some of the games on there. Because for whatever reason, um, I can't get my Xbox to pass through my um, Razer Capture card onto the PC. It just doesn't do it. It's all set up right. Everything's there. There's just no pass through. So. do it in the way that I'd like to and put them on do it on YouTube but I can directly stream to Twitch from my console and then we can even port some of that over to YouTube either as a restream type thing so we'll upload the streams or I can edit it and upload it that way I wouldn't mind trying to do that maybe at a weekend like a Sunday night thing but it's a hundred percent dependent on <laughs> my son sleeping and selling. There's just absolutely no point in me trying to stream anything if he's going to wake up within 20 minutes of me starting, and uh, that just ruins the whole thing. He can't help it, but it's just pointless me doing it. It's crap content. Whereas if I'm recording, I can pause, I can save. And I can come back to it later that night or the next day. So that's why recording has been sort of prominent. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Slow down in time this time. Signs. Now our the point of destination. Take the first exit. Exit now. Now, once we're 
we're here and we arrived and we dropped off. I may try and do a couple of jobs uh, to hit a few of these uh, cities in Ukraine so that the the journey has been more worth it. We'll keep the uh, paint job on and we'll do a few jobs around here if we can. They'll all be short jobs, so how I put that together I'm not sure. Uh, but then we'll be looking to head back to the UK, At the roundabout. which will probably be easier. And, sorry mate, I'm coming out. And uh, he hit me. That's not my fault. He drove into me. And uh, get back and purchase our new truck, which we will have a ton of money for. Uh, I may even head back to the UK off screen. But we'll, uh, we'll still get paid. I won't uh, just jump to it, I'll make sure I earn money. And uh, yeah, we'll buy our new truck and sort out getting ourselves a worker. Little something happening here. A lot of something happening here. Oh, crikey, what's going on? Keep right and then turn right. Oh, wow. What is happening here? Turn right. Are they all parked up, or...? Seems so. I think this might be the opportunity to get that screenshot I want. Right, let's get back to it. Enough fapping around. As we know, this one is not a soft border. Any patrol going on here? Checking our documents. Everything is in order. Have a nice journey. Thank you very much. Get ready to turn left. Oh, no policia. Turn left. Left here. Back on the right. And we have a second border, so sort of a patch and no man's land there. In between the two borders. Okay, check our documents, check them as we go out, check them as we come in. Thank you kindly. Now what I'm going to do is change your heart. We're going to get our screenshot here. Okay, all sorted, let's go. We have arrived. Our goal is complete in that sense. I want to... I want to try to stick around, so I want to stick around, do a job or two. Because it's under nightfall, it's like, it was like, a past two in the morning. We don't want to see none of this country. So, uh, hopefully we can get a job that'll take us further north. That'd be nice. So we're coming in, although we're like east. Not east. <laughs> we're, we're west of the country. But to the south of the western border, connecting. So we should have a bit of space to hopefully work a job going north. Or at least north out the Ukraine. Maybe back into Poland. Or somewhere. If we can get that, then I'll uh, record that one. Speaks. 
because now it's going to catch me out and suddenly jump to like 36 or something. Something random. Volvo dealer. Possible garage location. Is there a possible garage over there? There it is, over there. Looks like a big one as well. With a uh, rest point and a workshop opposite. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Are there cows in the middle of that roundabout? Oh, why is it night time? I want to see cows on a roundabout. <laughs> it's so cool. You see, that is literally how close to the border we are there. Because that is the border with... Um, is it Hungary? At the roundabout, take the second exit. One round and round. This one. Exit now. Looks like a Get ready to turn right. Back to a power plant or something. Turn right, and then turn right. Yeah, that's a good. Wunderbar. That's clear. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. So. Oh, probably didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I just want to have a look and I double clicked it. Okay. We're going to be reversing today, ladies and gentlemen. Try and cheese it by getting as far forward here as I can. Let's see what we can do backing up. doing? I'll tell you what, that ain't bad, is it? Have some of that. <laughs> oh, mate. That is, uh, <laughs> that's, that's fucking perfect. <laughs> Perhaps we should do more of that. <laughs> Definitely. Let's detach. So empty pallets delivered. I mean, we lost probably a couple of grand for speed and fines and where we got hit by the traffic. But that's nearly 10 grand in the pocket. Only a little bit on EXP. It's taken us a while to get this next level. But that is it. The end of our journey from Cambridge in the United Kingdom here to Ukraine. We're only on the border. We're going to try and hit some more cities here, see what jobs we can find. But that's all in another episode. So if you've enjoyed today's video, and I hope you have just for the parking skills, give a big fat thumbs up down below. In the comments, rate that parking. 1 to 10. What are you going to give me? 1 out of 10. Or 1 to 10. What are you going to give me for that parking? Oh, I'm proper impressed with that. That's probably the best I've ever done. Give the video a big fat thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. In the description, there are links to the skin pack, there are links to the International Red Cross. Go buy it. Give what you can. Help these beautiful, wonderful people out. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon in the next one. Bye-bye.